Ladies and gentlemen, I am Jimbo the Fuzzy, and welcome back to Stellaris. When we last left off, we had a few impending threats. One being pirate raiders heading towards Ginium Prime. Some aliens had apparently created a means of modifying those drones on the moon. And they were doing that in order to draw people to the planet. Essentially fattening the calf. So, they're going to attack within two years. I was thinking on what to do about this. And the first thing to do is to build a brand new defense station. Or design one first. With the subspace snare. You also go with the Nanobot Cloud, which is going to repair any nearby allied ships. Or the Shield Dampener, which is going to... ...reduce... ...any effectiveness of shields on nearby enemy ships. Or the Minefield, which... ...detonates mines. For this one, we're gonna go with the Subspace Snare. And... Planning to stick with mostly these medium cores. This specific station is... Th this specific design is essentially supposed to be expendable. The reason it exists... Is to grab... An enemy fleet. Pull them in somewhere else. And then use the time while their FTLs or FTL drives are cooling down to pummel them. Since this does increase the time it takes for them to cool down. And while your FTL drive is in cooldown, you can't do anything. So the fleet pops in right around this and is then subject to, well, eight railguns. Hit the auto-complete button, and it thinks giving it a lot of armor, and... 44% damage reduction seems pretty effective, actually. I'm inclined to agree with it there. Although I'm wondering if a bit more shields wouldn't be a terrible idea. They put the improved deflector there and an antimatter reactor. No, I can't quite support that. So they'll throw in the same thing again. Huh. Show it around a little bit. Lantern shields and 40% damage reduction. That seems feasible. We shall call this the small. TL trap. Three points of shield, 4,000 hull points, and decent amount of armor. Difference between this and um, most starships is this will begin repairing its health on its own if it goes a month without getting shot at. So if we can pull a fleet in fast enough, it will get easily reinforced. So there is that. So we shall save that design. No, I don't know what our construction ship is doing. But I would like it to build a, um, build a military station. The small FTL trap class. That's going to be expensive. Now, all these stations have a air effect where you can't build them right on top of each other. So, I would say put it right here. It's not right next to the edge of the system, so they can't run away quickly. It's not in right next to anything I own, 
so they're not going to be able to start firing at anything. And it's relatively close to the starport, so my ships can come and gate. Oh, it's a decent range away from the starport, so I have time to send in reinforcements to support anything they bring against me. So, there will be that. That is a pretty big range, though, so... I don't know how long that'll take it. Um, probably not too long, I hope. And on top of that, I am going to hear Volanus Prime start building me, start building some more destroyers. There's really five more. And I'm going to have the second star flock detach its new its destroyers. Where are they? Ah, misclick. Corvette, Corvette. What? Destroyer. Yeah, let's just move all the destroyers over and call it a day. Alright, and now the third star flock is going to come over to Genium Prime. Under orbit, good. And the first star flock is going to come get as a leader a little experience. Dealing with some crystalline entities that I... Yes, dealing with these. Actually, first we're going to deal with the space amoeba. And we can do that in one jump, which is nice. My goals eventually have ten destroyers in each of these fleets. As Colony well. established. Well, let's cut that off with. Um, give you the projectile elephants, I think. And go down to the surface. Now, first we're going to build. Right here, we're going to build the. Frontier Clinic. And here we're going to build a basic hydroponics farm. Main reason I build this is because it doesn't give me any energy cost. Um, other than that, I'm going to save. I'm going to build things that don't give me any energy cost right now. Right next to the structure here. Let's see. I also need a pair of physics, uh, a pair of science labs. That'll do for a halfway decent start. It'll give me seven food, I think, which isn't a terrible amount, and fairly low energy costs until I get some energy up and running. A colony will take a little while to get going, though. Anyway. The first star flock... ...is about to make its FTL jump... ...to Volanus. And from Volanus it will jump... ...to Antakram. Where we now have a full fleet here, and a handful of space amoebas. And they're gonna send in our fleet. Hostile fleet engaged. And they're gonna start shooting at us. And I'm going to turn the speed down for this. I 
I can also rebuild Corvettes a lot faster than I can rebuild Destroyers, which is... Some damage... I got through the shields, I'm not sure how. Well, they seem to have the ability to ignore shields in some ways. One of those Corvettes is pretty badly beat up. Situation log updated. Although... I think I won. I think. I did win. Quite effectively. And you can go over there. Got a little experience. Dealt with hostile. And now we have a science ship that can also add this to it. Ooh. How long is that gonna be there? Quite a while. At least I think. Well, let's send it over, research that, and then it can survey the system. Over here, Tundra World. Not sure how good that Tundra World is. Well, we don't know yet. Well, if it is good. Alright, that'll do for now. I am probably going to move this over sometime thereafter. I want to get the full strength of my fleet in Genium. I'm the one commander and hopefully that'll only deal with the pirates pretty effectively. Also, let me know exactly how powerful my fleet is. Unemployment on Bellanus Prime. Right. Swap you two around. You're starting to grow. You're unhappy. You, I want to have build the Hyper Entertainment form. And you are going to get a... Do you want a mineral processing plant here? Might be a good idea. I don't have anything else that'll improve happiness, so... How many minerals are being produced here, by the way? 21. 10% increase... Won't be huge, but same time, it's not awful. And we can upgrade everything else at the same time. And that looks like that'll do for now. Excellent. And go back up to our higher speed. All things get done. I hope. Actually, once it's done surveying these, I'm going to change its task. Little bit of value, but not a lot. Alright, I can live with that. Though there is some nice stuff in the system that might be worth going for. If I get Mius. Tersecundus, of course, somebody left. 
We can upgrade the power plant, though. That'll never hurt. Um, Blunter summary. Some 23. Yeah. Lots of spare food. But we can add some minerals here. Mining networks. And you are a... Mining network. That'll help. Quite a bit, actually. And clear that out. And I'm not too worried about... Stuff not getting worked. At least not at the moment. Then you gotta not... Okay. Incoming transmission. Incoming transmission. Migration tree proposal. The Kodak people should not be prisoners in the Allied Kodak stars, and neither should our own people be limited to inhabit our territory. Let's agree to remedy. Okay, I think they got the wording a little wrong. But what they want is. Our people can migrate over to their territory, and their people can migrate over to ours. I like this. We are going to be closer friends. First star flock is fully repaired. Excellent. You can go away, and you can go away. System survey complete. Alright. Now you... I'm going to start by saying survey that system. Then come over here and do the research projects. Then survey. Then come over here and survey. And that, hopefully, will work out. Some more systems are fully surveyed, fine, and yep. Mine station done. Um, and let's take these two fleets and merge them together. That's almost 2k strength fleet, which I'm not opposed to. If I had a few... That is a thought. Do I add cru do I see about adding cruisers? Can you build cruisers here? No, you're not a high enough level spaceport. But you would be, right? Yes, you're level five spaceport, so you could build some cruisers. If the Brawl Cannon class is, our, is in fact our latest design. No. Here we go. Yeah, they don't want to give these the normal attack computers. They think I've got too much range for to be a brawler, essentially. Maybe that's true, maybe it isn't. Better accuracy, better fire rate, and more weapons range, though. That, you know, maybe there's something to be said for that. So we'll save that design, I suppose. No, no, no. This isn't a bombardment ship. This is a melee range ship. And... We have better armor we can put on it. Enough to give it 25% damage reduction, which... Not bad. Not bad at all. Takes a long time to build, though, so I'm probably only going to have one or two done. By the time this war comes around, but 
when a pirate raid comes around. I think having a pair of them isn't going to be too terrible. And Dibla Secundus. Uh, let's give it the usual solar panel network. Get a little more energy built up here. And get population growing. And these guys, what's their uh, opinion of us? Cordial. They feel cordial towards us. I like cordial people. Trust is... Ah! Trust can go up to 100 because we do have a defensive pact, which counts as an alliance. And because we have the defensive pact, we got another plus 20, we have neutral rivals. Migration access is increasing this. That's good. Not quite as much as our defensive pact, mind you, but... I won't say no. We're definitely getting along. Let's hope that construction ship gets done with that military station before the pirates show up. We're saving up plenty of influence, so we could do some more colonizing. And so our economy stabilizes a bit more. Maybe that's the right System word. System survey complete. They've got a decent system there. Lots of minerals. And I wouldn't be complaining about that system myself, but... It's theirs. We don't lay claim to it. And as they haven't laid claim to our territory, we're not gonna, you know, lay claim to theirs. It's only fair, right? Tundra World, Tundra World... Two planets, which could be exploited with hundreds. complete. Border range increase. Excellent. Oh, look at that. Our border range just increased. Well, the Voon is now in our range. Hmm. You gotta go do something about that. Those crystalline entities, once the, uh... Pirates are dealt with. Xeno Zoo requires the Xeno Pets, which... Have we found any of those yet? I don't think we've found any. Which is a little worrisome. It means we're not building Xeno Zoos, which means no happier people. Higher sector limit. No need for that right now. More naval capacity. Possibly good. Better hydroponics farms. Not urgent. This will get it out of the deck. So we can start getting other things. And he'll get it even faster for us, so... What's that predict? Six months? Probably five. With him helping. Huh, still six. Oh, well. What do you do? Okay, but we really... Yeah. We really do need to run that colonial project out here now. So what's getting paused? Railguns, of course. Construction complete. Of course railguns are getting delayed. And system surveyed. Negotiations for appointing a new director are underway. Did we ever... We're still the science directorate. Alright. We could put Skrak back in charge. 
Architectural Sunt, and Corvette Focus. He is, however, our best researcher. Well, he has the fleet expansion. Cool. Reacher will have the fleet expansion agenda. Longer lifespan. And would give us monthly influence. That's really worthwhile. Cheaper build costs on construction ships and mining stations. And cheaper frontier outpost build costs. And he'd be developing industry. That's not something we need right now. More energy, possibly worthwhile. Uh, cheaper since... I think what we need is Retrill. I'll be disappointed to lose a governor, but... He is worth... It will be worth it. Do we already get his... Influence? Um... Maybe, I don't know. I think he would be the new ruler. He would make a good one. And yes. Of course now our home world uh no Char Prime does not have a leader, sadly. So we need a new governor. Who will... No army veterans, no... No slaves. The environmental engineer. He's also young and we could later move him to a sector command. Give him some experience here. That sounds like a good idea. And now we should go back to our science programs. Where uh, we could... Hmm... Place you with Skrak, who is... Plus 10% to everything. But you're already better there. Engineering is the place we'd put him. So, I guess that's what we have to do. Unless we're gonna put him in a science vessel for a bit and have him worry about that. But even then... Or we could leave him... Low death chance. Age is under 192. So he's got another 80 years ahead of him. They've got... So, we expect our guys to live to almost 200. That's good to know. Um... Yeah. I'm tempted to dismiss... to... dismiss him once our zero-point reactors are done. Because at this point, pulling stack in would just slow things down. But, we've made some progress. We are preparing for a invasion of a... Well, I don't know. I'm preparing for a pirate invasion. Hopefully our space station will be ready. We have a small fleet here. A decent amount of ships. And hopefully, the cruisers we're building will be able to provide enough help when they get around to it. Well, when they show up. But, we'll have to find out later. Thank you very much for watching. I am Jimbo the Fuzzy. I hope to see you.